Two weeks post renovation and it is looking pretty good. I'll show you guys some close ups, some results of how it's going. What we need to do from here on in to keep this thing creeping and spreading and filling and getting nice and tight. So let's just rip into it today. So first things first is we need to give this area a mow. Now believe it or not, I actually don't have a rotary mow at the moment that's running, apart from my big bob which is my scalping mower, which my brother's borrowing anyway. So I actually don't have a walk behind rodeo mower. <laughs> I need to get myself one. So unfortunately I'm gonna to have to use the ride on, which is not really a problem. The ground isn't gonna shift because it is sand, it is gonna hold a little bit more firmly. You just gotta make sure it's not super, super wet, which I've given it two days of rest now. We did have 40 something mil the other day, <clears throat> but we've given it a couple of days rest now. So it's gonna be fine running over this area with this mower. It's not super heavy either. So it's not gonna be a problem. But I just want to nip the top off the grass. Now the reason I want to nip the top off is because it's now grown, oh seriously, probably a little bit too long, about to 50 centimetres. When it gets to about 30 centimetres, you really want to start thinking about taking about a third of the um, leaf off. So I'd be taking off 10 mil. So if you're looking at mowing it back to 20 mil, the, ga the goal for me this season is 15 mil. So you could technically, I could take it back down to 12, 13, 14, 15 mil. I'd probably just take it straight back to 15 mil. Um, once I get back onto the cylinder mower, but for now we're using the rotary, which the lowest that thing goes is about 25 mil on that mower there, but that's fine. But yeah, you want to start nipping the top off and not let it grow too long because you're going to just start stressing the plant more and scalping it more. Luckily the crown isn't super high at the moment, so the point where the leaf actually shoots from isn't sitting up higher because we did such a heavy scalp. So any leaf that we take off today, even if it's a bit more than a third of the leaf, it's not going to be a problem like it normally is before you do a reno or any time during the season because our crowns are so low down in the ground. So we could cut this quite low and it's not going to scalp it unless we go back to that height we were at before. But if you look closely, you can see that the area is thin, and the, but there's lots of top growth. So the reason we're chopping off, we're going to start doing regular mowing now is because we want to start promoting sideways growth with this lawn. So once we start chopping the top off, Regularly, it'll actually start trying to push sideways because like a, I can't grow up. Let's start to grow to the side and it'll start to thicken out like that. Now, as you can see, as I said, it is thin, but that's not too big of an issue. But you can see bits of sand, which is the main reason why I'm not bringing a cylinder mower out here. Because if your sand starts getting into your reel and your bed knife, it will blunt it and you have to send it away for a grind a little bit earlier or give it a back lap, which ideally you'd rather just grind it once a season, once every two seasons for home lawn. So we'll hold off putting a any sort of cylinder mower, real mower on here until it's nearly filled in and we can't see much sand. But let's nip the top off now, let's do the edges and let's talk about how to look after it from here on in. Well, I chopped a bit off the top, but not a lot. I definitely need to go to Bunnings or something to grab myself a mower, or down to Central West Mowers in town. <clears throat> have a chat to the boys, because yeah, it's not good. If you guys have any recommendations on a good rotary, I'm looking at something like a Honda or something. With a nice catcher on it, does a bit of mulching too, because it'd be nice just to have when you want to clean up certain areas like this lawn here and not get the cylinder mower out. And I prefer not to use a ride on, like if you can avoid it. That would be the go. Anyway, let's do the edging.
Definitely looking a lot better after that edge and that mow. Ooh, man, it's starting to look like a lawn again. Doesn't take long, it's been exactly two weeks since we did the reno. <laughs> it's going very well, considering how hard we actually scalped it down and took a lot of material out of it. Now obviously there is still a few thin areas. This area at the top here, we did actually go a little bit more into the dirt on this area just here because it is a little bit more uneven. Up the top side just here, but through the middle here, where it wasn't quite as crazy, look at that, look at the difference. Bruz, like that's so close to being filled in. If you were mowing that for the next two weeks regularly, you'd find that to tighten up heaps and be close to being actually there, which is just insane how much that has moved. Now, next steps for this area is, as I said, keep up the regular mowing if you want to get this to come back really, really well. Make sure as well, <clears throat> it's getting enough water. So I, you can back off the daily watering if it's starting to look like this. There's lots of lush green growth. Um, like you can basically back it off to maybe once every two to three days, depending on your weather. If it's really, really hot, you might want to do it every once every two days, just to help it continue repairing and push through that sand really, really nicely. But that's gonna be it for the next week or two. And then you can start looking at applying liquids again. So something like my Lawn Tips Mix, the spring and autumn bundle is a great thing. Mix all the products together, put it out at 200 mil per each product. Over this area, I'll be doing it. I'll probably do it a week three, so next week I'll probably do it. Also need to really start thinking about wetting agents this season. Because it's looking like a really, really dry um, spring and summer, apart from that rain we got the day, which was awesome, but it's time to start really thinking about wetting agents because of hydrophobic soil. So our soils can start to repel water the warmer it gets. So our wetting agent's basically just gonna help <clears throat> that water get down to the soil properly and stop it pooling on top and running off. Something that's gonna be great for water saving this year, so you wanna use as much water. It actually helps with our fertilizers getting down into the soil a bit better as well. If you've got a hydrophobic soil, if you think about it, and you're spraying liquid fertilizers on top, and something that you want watered in and getting down to the roots, the wetting agent is going to stop that from pulling on top and running away and actually help it get down to the soil. Good to use with something like barricade as well in your pre-emergence and even your insecticides if you're using liquid ones because it just helps distribute the product evenly across the surface. Now don't mix wetting agents with your liquid first unless you're going to be watering it in straight away. And you can always do a jar test beforehand just to make sure they're actually compatible with each other because some liquid fertilizers will just make a really, really thick, gluggy mess if you mix it with wetting agent or they'll just separate as well. So you've got to make sure you do a little jar test, just put a bit of each product in there and see if they work well together. So you can do it, but then also make sure you water it in because wetting agent needs to be watered in um, pretty quickly afterwards. Also, just make sure when you're doing your first mow in the area, your blades are sharp and you make sure you're not cutting too much off as well, as in not going back to scalping. They're the main tips I look at. Keep the water up, regular mowing now. Get into some liquid ferts a couple of weeks after you've done your reno, so three to four weeks afterwards. Don't really need to put granulars out again until like 12 weeks after your initial hit, unless you want to give it a little bit of an extra boost here and there, but you don't need to go absolutely nuts with it. Wetting agents are a great thing to start thinking about. And apart from that, that's all you really need to do. If you see some weeds coming up, leave them until your lawn's back to full health as well. Make sure you don't do it while it's still repairing because you'll just stress areas out. If you really, really want to get on top of it, you can spot spray some weeds if you like. Just don't blanket spray over the whole yard. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very, very soon.